welcome back. We're back at it again with another heatless hair adventure. Um, I'm sure you've probably, if you've been hanging out on the hair side of YouTube, is that even a thing? I don't know. If you've been hanging out on the hair side of YouTube, you've probably heard of the TikTok curls or the rope curls. Everybody's trying them. It's like a, it's like one of those like cliche, stereotypical things to try during quarantine. I tried them a while ago. I tried them a while ago, like before quarantine. Somebody who follows me on TikTok actually tagged me of them trying it in a little bit of a different way. And I had already been kind of thinking about it. Um, I am gonna try her way and I'm gonna share the results with you, but I don't know why we're talking about it right now because that's not what we're doing today. Good one, Kayla, good one. Also, we're in a different room. I hope it's not too echoey. Hmm. It was at this moment that I changed to an external microphone and the audio did not work. And I didn't check before I kept going. So I'm gonna find a way to creatively voice over myself taking down my hair after. Anyways, let's just fast forward over whatever I said in the video that it didn't record the audio into last night. Actually, that would be a rewind, wouldn't it? Let's rewind to last night, putting my hair up, and then we'll come back to this morning where I'll have to voice over where I was talking the whole time. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to start by sectioning out my hair into four sections. Oh look, hello Jonathan. Yeah, so we're separating into four sections and we're going to do a section across the back or I should say a band across the back and then a band across the front. Typically with the TikTok curls, you just use one robe band belt, if you will. Um, but I have a lot of hair and I know a lot of other girls with thick hair have the problem of it not necessarily working. So I thought I would try it this way, see how it turns out. There are quite a few variations on the TikTok curls or robe curls. The way that I like to do it is starting with a little bit of hair at the top of the head and wrapping and slowly adding more. Some people do kind of crisscross sections. Personally, I don't love that method. I also find it very confusing. I like this method myself. And once I finished the first side, I took the same approach on the other side. And you can't probably see it on my face, but I was already thinking that the other side it did was thicker than this one. Yet again, it didn't actually make that much of a difference in the long run, but the curls always turn out a little bit differently if your sections aren't even, just kind of the way that it is. I'm working on it. I didn't actually think going into this that sectioning my hair would be the hardest thing for me to learn how to do. And it's funny, as much time as I take like measuring out, like kind of hand holding them each and comparing them. I always seem to kind of overestimate or underestimate, I guess, on one of them. But case raw, raw, as I always say, we're not going anywhere. Nobody's gonna see this. It's just for the science right now. So as you can see, I am repeating the steps and I do um, now like to put an elastic at the base of each of the twisties. Um, I never used to, but the further I get into my pregnancy, the more active I am when I sleep. And I've been finding that if I don't put an elastic, then it's more likely to fall out. It was never a problem before, it is now. Interesting pregnancy side effect, but you know, easily remedied, you just put the elastic. So by now, you might've noticed that I don't like to sleep with things on the side of my head, just dangling there. I don't like all that extra sort of business up in my business. So I usually like to tie things up. This was pretty easy to tie up and I probably should have referenced this clip when I was taking them down cause I got pretty confused. Um, but usually I'll just tie everything up on top of my head if possible. And then 
sometimes give her a little extra spray. That's just water, by the way, I'm just reusing a bottle. And then I sleep with this uh, fancy cap that I made out of some old tights. Now to the part of the day where I realized I recorded and the audio didn't work at all, but that's okay. So we're just taking it down. Already I could kind of tell that I was gonna be really happy with the curls. A good sign that I find for my hair is that they feel really light. Like they don't feel like they're heavy. Um, and usually if they feel that way, I can tell that they're gonna stay for a while. So now I'll give you a full view of what everything looks like. You can tell the one section that just didn't curl quite as much as the rest. Again, it was just bigger than the rest of them. I didn't wrap it as tight, but as we say, case sera, sera. All right, it's hours later now. The curls held up pretty well, considering I've been <laughs> lying on the couch um, and getting it all messed up. They held up, I would say, pretty well. I would normally go somewhere where there's better light and better ambiance, but I have reached my capacity for things today. So we're getting the rest of the video on the couch. I already recorded this earlier and again, no audio. So um, will I do this again? Totally. I really liked the results. It held really well all day. Um, the way that it dropped, well, I, I napped on it, let's be real. Um, but even still, I still have lots of volume, lots of um, shape going on, which is really nice. It wasn't uncomfortable to sleep with. Um, it was relatively easy to do. I think it took less than 10 minutes. So I would say that that was a definite win. Um, I might even like that better than doing all the individual. Who am I kidding? I think I like that way better than doing all the individual napkins all around my head. If I want more volume at the top, I think doing the different sections is probably the better option, but for achieving the kind of curl that I normally like to get with a curling iron or a curling rod, this is good. I'm gonna try another method this evening. Hopefully that'll be able to come out soon as well. As long as baby macaroni doesn't just like decide to show up tomorrow or something like that, you know? Would I say it was a win? Yes. Would I do it again? Yes. Would I recommend it? Totally. If you don't have cloth napkins, bandanas work just as well, I would say. I'm trying to think of what else you could use. Anything that's that thickness. Oh, leggings. I always come back to leggings, but two pairs of leggings, like, across your head. If you have long, thick hair, or even just long hair, might be worth a shot. And then once you do it, you could just flip the top of the leggings over. See, genius, you should totally try that. Okay, sorry once again for the strange selfie environment for my outro, but uh, I determined a while ago that I wasn't gonna let uh, imperfect circumstances dictate whether I filmed or not. We are getting this video out. It's happening. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm not a pro, but I love to help. Hopefully we'll have some really cool stuff happening, including some other people. Um, logistically, not allowed to be around other people. Plus they live really far away anyways, but maybe that can happen. I'm hoping it can happen. Keep an eye out for that. And, uh, just have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.